presentations from Department of Biochemistry, SRM Dental College, Ramapuram Campus. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the milk analysis. Milk is a complete food. It contains all the nutrients. The chief protein present in milk is casein. It also contains the soluble proteins lactalbumin and lactoglobulin. The sugar present in milk is lactose. The vitamins rich are the vitamin A, D. However, it is a poor source of vitamin C. And the chief minerals present in milk are calcium and phosphorus. 50 ml of milk is taken and to this 2 ml of 1% acetic acid is added drop by drop and it is kept undisturbed for 2 to 3 hours for the separation of the filtrate and precipitate. After 3 hours the sample is taken and filtered to separate the filtrate and the precipitate. Here we can see the separation of the filtrate and what is remaining in the funnel is the precipitate. Here we are going to do the test in the filtrate and the precipitate. Here we can see the separated samples of filtrate and precipitate. From the precipitate obtained from the milk separation, we are going to do the test for fat. For this, we are going to take the precipitate and we are going to dissolve the fat a little of the precipitate is taken this is dissolved by adding 5 ml of alcohol ml of alcohol is added to dissolve the fat from the precipitate slightly this warmed to release the fat from the precipitate Now we are going to filter it in water. We are going to filter it in distilled water. So this test tube contains water. So when we add the fat containing sample, we can see the emulsion formation. You can see the emulsion formation. You can see the fat released from the sample is forming an emulsion. Oil in water emulsion. This shows milk is rich in fat. The precipitate contains fat. The precipitate separated contains the insoluble protein casein. Here we are going to do the test for protein which is biuret test. For this a little of the precipitate is taken and it is dissolved in 3 ml of water. It is dissolved in 3 ml of water. Then 40% sodium hydroxide, 40 per, 5 drops of 40% sodium hydroxide to make it alkaline. Then copper sulfate is added. Copper sulfate, 3 drops of copper sulfate is added. The formation of violet color shows 
the presence of the protein casein precipitate we are going to do the sulfur test milk is rich in the sulfur containing amino acid so here we are going to do the lead acetate test for this a little of the precipitate is taken and dissolved in 2 ml of the distilled water to get the solution of the precipitate to this we are going to add 40% sodium hydroxide to make it alkaline and it is kept in the boiling water bath for 10 minutes mixed well and kept in the boiling water bath for 10 minutes after 10 minutes of boiling it is taken from the boiling condition and we have to cool it after cooling three drops of lead acetate is added here we can see the appearance of brown color because the sulfur reacts with the lead and forms the lead sulfide the filtered sample collected we are going to use for the test for proteins the whey portion or the filtered portion contains the soluble proteins lactalbumin and lactoglobulin this is a heat coagulation test which is a test for proteins for this 3/4 of the sample is taken to that 1 to 2 drops of 1% acetic acid is added and it is heated at the top portion of the test tube it is a property of the protein if we heat a protein it will coagulate here we can see on heating a thick coagulum is formed at the upper portion of the test tube this shows the filtrate contains the soluble proteins lactalbumin and lactoglobulin this is heat coagulation test here we can see the coagulum at the top portion of the test tube we can see the coagulum against the clear background milk contains the sugar lactose lactose is a reducing sugar and it's a disaccharide first we'll do the test for reducing sugar which is benedict test for the benedict test we need to take 3 ml of the sample and 5 drops of the filtrate sample and it is kept in the boiling water bath benedict reagent contains cupric ions which is reduced to cuprous ions here we can see the change of blue color to brick red color precipitate which shows the presence of reducing sugar
After two minutes, it will change into brick red color precipitate. So this shows milk contains the reducing sugar lactose. Buffer's test is the test for monosaccharide. For Buffer's test, we have to take 2 ml of the Buffer's reagent and 2 ml of the filtrate sample and kept in the boiling condition for 2 minutes. Buffer's is the test for monosaccharides. If it is positive, we will be getting red precipitate. Because lactose is a disaccharide, it will be negative for Barford's test. This confirms milk contains the disaccharide lactose. Two minutes, we can see there is no color change in the Barford's reagent. This shows that it contains the disaccharide. Lactose is a disaccharide. The filtrate sample is rich in the ca mineral calcium. For this, we are going to do the test for calcium. The filtrate sample is taken 2 ml. And this is acidified with 5 drops of 1% acetic acid. Then we have to add ammonium oxalate, 2 ml of ammonium oxalate is added. So we can see the color change into curdy white color. This is due to the precipitation of calcium as calcium oxalate. This on centrifugation we can see the precipitation of calcium oxalate. This shows the milk filtrate sample contains the mineral calcium. The filtrate sample is rich in phosphorus. For this, we will take 2 ml of the filtrate sample and this is acidified with 5 drops of concentrated nitric acid. Then it is followed by the addition of a pinch of ammonium molybdate. Phosphorus reacts with ammonium molybdate and forms the phospho molybdate ammonium phosphomolybdate which is canary yellow in color we can see the precipitation of the phosphorus as phosphoammonium molybdate which is canary yellow in color